Welcome to another Learning Lua. Today we're going to look at the SELECT command. Now this is not the SELECT case that you might be used to seeing in other scripting languages. In Lua, SELECT is used for very specific purposes and we're going to take a look at how that is used today. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to ask you a very important question and I'd love to have your feedback. So the, the SELECT command. Now SELECT is a very specific use command. It is a tool that is used to return values from a, a series of other values. It can be used with any type of variable, whether we're talking about uh, strings, integers, uh, floats, whatever we happen to be using. So let's take a look at using uh, an instance of the select command. In this case, I'm going to issue the select command, give it the command of a pound sign or hashtag sign, and then a series of numbers. The hashtag returns the number of objects that come after the hashtag. So in this particular case, we get the output of five. Now, you might wonder, how can I use the select command, how would it be useful to me in creating a program, or uh, why would I use it in a program? Well, one of the uses for the select command would be in doing adding a series of numbers, and it's actually faster than using a table or another tool like that. The select command can be used to creating a number, so let, or creating a, a sum of, of different types of numbers. So let's look at the situation where I might have uh, a series of variables with different values in them, and I need to find a, a specific one. So I'm just going to create four numbers and give them different values. I know, real original naming there, numbers one through four with the values of one through four. And let's create a function, and we'll, we're just going to, in this particular case, do an addition. So I'm going to create a function, call it add, and it's going to output the results of whatever it is that we, we add. And for this, I'm going to use a for loop, and I want to know how many objects are in this. Now, just as before, where we did the select, it will return what the value or the, the number of uh, elements that come after the pound sign. So I'm going to use the exact same sequence and in this case, instead of the numbers one through five, we're going to use num1, num2, num3, num4. This will return the number of elements that come after the hashtag. It should give me the a for loop of going from one to four in this particular case. I want to sum these values as we're going along. So we're going to do a sum equals sum plus select, pass it the variable i, and then get the values from that. Now just so that we can see what's happening, I'm just going to add a quick little print statement here so that we know what the value of sum is at each particular step as we're going along. And then of course we need to end our loop and we need to return the sum back to the calling routine and we'll end our function. And then let's do a print of add. There we go. And we'll do a run and I get an execution error. Forgot one little command in there. I forgot to initialize the value of sum. So let's say sum equals zero at the beginning of our function. And now that should do it. Okay. And there we go. What's happening with this project is that the first thing that we get printed out, the first time print is called in our loop, is that it's returning the value of the very first number, 1, and adding that to sum. Now since sum is already 0, the total is 1. The second time through our iteration, or the second iteration of our for loop, num has the value of 2, so it returns 2, adds that to the previous value of 1, so we get 3. 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, and so our final print returns the value of 10. Now, if you want to verify all that, we can remove our sum and then run it 
and you can see it returns the number of 10. Now, as I said, this could be used with strings, this could be used with numbers, whatever case you need to use. It's a nice, easy way to be able to find information. According to the Lua developers, select is actually one of the fastest ways you can add a series of numbers using besides just, you know, a straight addition. It's supposed to be faster than working with tables if you've got a huge complex program. If you're working with this on a more complex or uh, with another engine, which of course that's what we do with Lua, uh, Roblox or, or one of the other tools out there, the select command can be very useful to finding the sum or the total of a series of numbers or even returning um, a, a variety of strings. So that, that can be a, a very useful thing. If you wanted to, let's, let's try this real quick. If you wanted to, instead of having the values of numbers here, we could go through and add the variables together. Now remember, when we're working with strings like this, you need to concatenate instead of add. So two periods there for concatenation. And as you can see, my output here, down here at the bottom is A, B, C, D is the output. So I'm not sure where my zero is coming from on my first print. It's a little, oh, because I initialized sum at zero. So let's say sum equals quotes, empty quotes. And now we get our output of A, B, C, D. There we have it. You can see you can concatenate with it. You can add with it. You can multiply with it. Whatever you need to do, select gives you a quick way to put things together or f return specific values in something. Now, one other use case of the select that you might be interested in is that we could, with the select, pass it a value. Remember, the first one is always your index number for what it's going to work with. In this particular case, in this use case, it returns all the values that come after whatever uh, index number we've selected. So in this case, I've selected two, so it's going to return num2, num3, and num4, which is b, c, and d, which is the exact return. You can see there's a variety of different ways that we can use select. One is to return everything after specific specific index number, or you can use it for being able to concatenate or add things. Lots of different ways we can use select. Um, it tends to be more of a specialized command than something we use generally, but there we have, there it is available for your use and consideration. So that concludes using the select command. I've been getting a lot of interest from the Learning Lua series that I did a number of years ago, and great feedback from everybody. What I'd like to know from you is what would you like to see going forward? I can continue doing these tutorials off and on and just simply posting them to YouTube as I've got time where there's questions, or I could create a Lua scripting course that was available for people to subscribe to and, and use, or I could create a Lua scripting textbook that introduce the concepts of programming using the Lua scripting language. So let me know in the feedback down below. Um, give me your comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. And make sure you hit that like button so that I know that you appreciated this tutorial.